up homies this is Fernie and this is Project Apocalypse Volume 4 this time it's personal uh, it's not really personal guys that's just my favorite Jaws tagline I had been taking a break on Project Apocalypse and this is why so the shot moved from San Francisco, which was awesome, to Mountain View, which is less than awesome. And uh, what that means is my commute has increased about 10 hours a week. So that used to be time I was spending on Project Apocalypse. So anyway, I found out recently that I have about, oh, four weeks or so before I have to move Project Apocalypse from the old location. And so now I'm back on it with a vengeance this time it's personal still not personal guys but uh, I do have a little bit more of a sense of urgency so anyway let me tell you what's been going on with uh, Project Apocalypse I grew up on the crime side the New York time side staying alive was no job had second hands moms bounced on old men so then we moved to Shallon land a young youth you're rocking the goat tooth, no goose. Only way I begin the G York was drug loot. And let's start it like this, son. Rolling with this one and that one. Pulling out gats for fun. But it was just a dream for the teen who was a fiend. Started smoking wolves at 16. And running up in gates and doing it for high stakes. Making my way on fire skates. No question I was speed for cracks and weed. The combination made my eyes bleed. No question, I will flow off and try to get the dough off. Sticking up right, boys, a war court. My life got no better. Same damn low sweater. Times is rough and tough like leather. Figured out I went the wrong route. So I got with a sick tight click and went all out. Catching keys from cross seas. Rolling in MPVs every week. We made 40 G. Yo, brothers, respect mine. I ain't gonna tech now. Bow, move from the gate. Survival got me bugging, but I'm alive on arrival. I peep back the safe of the streets. Stay awake to the ways of the world. <laughs> a man with a dream with plans to make green was fail. I went to jail at the age of 15. A young buck selling drugs and such. Who never had much. Trying to get a clutch of what I could not touch. The court played me short and I faced incarceration. Mason, no one upstates my destination. Handcuffed in back of a bus. Fast and short, he shouldn't be so rough But as the world turned, I learned life was hell Living in the world no different from a cell Every day I skate from takes, giving chase Selling bass, smoking bones in the staircase So you guys remember way back in part two when I made that little tool to measure the hole locations and I was like, damn son, this is like the future of hole measuring technology Well, it turns out I was wrong, a little bit wrong So. Uh, that was cool everything it worked fine, but um, I got my hands on this Artec 3d scanner It's like this $20,000 scanner uh, So then I was like, whoa, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know scan the whole bike that way I can share a 3d model with moto brickers and It'll be easier to do stuff in SolidWorks. So Anyway, I tried to do that, but it kept losing tracking and it turns out that the Artex not super great on black objects and reflective surfaces, and so that's pretty much what the bike is. Make a long story short, it didn't work, and I was like, dang, this thing's for suckers. So why don't I just use like half a million dollars worth of laser tracking metrology equipment? So basically I got like an R1200 GS, the full LED headlight. Uh, and it looks pretty badass. I really like the asymmetrical, 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 asymmetrical design. I like the asymmetry, guys. What the fuck? I'm like Porky Pig up in this bitch. So the headlight's cool. And uh, basically, I ended up using a Leica laser tracker and a Leica T-probe 
and it was like a handheld CMM and then like a uh, like a T scan which is a laser scanner and so I was able to generate a point cloud for uh, basically for those parts and I'm in the process of learning how to make a solid model out of that point cloud anyway the good news is oh, that's a badass mural the good news is that it's a little slow at work so I'm doing all this stuff at work I'm gonna take a closer look at that mural um, which is awesome because I am masquerading it as an opportunity to learn some new modeling techniques which it kind of is but really I just kind of want to work on bikes um, oh that's just dope all right guys well that's about it for this update I think the next update will be uh, about the welding up of this frame should be a fun project it's going to be my first TIG welding project so I should learn a lot and hopefully it doesn't turn out too bad um, and until next time thanks for watching see you on part five <laughs>